Long division. Use long division to determine that the given polynomial is a factor of f of x. Use the result to write f of x in completely factored form. So here we have a polynomial with a degree of 3. Okay, And that means that we should come up with three, ideally three factors here. So here's our factor um, of this polynomial, of this function. <clears throat> so we're going to use long di division to determine if it is a factor or not. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this polynomial down. And it needs to go in descending order, so 3, 2, exponent 1, and then our constant. Then we draw our division symbol, and we put x plus 4 out here. Okay, so in order to do this, we start with the x, and we ask ourselves, x times what will give us x cubed? So we know that x times x squared, x times x squared will give us x cubed. And then we take 4 times x squared, and we put that underneath our squared term. Then we subtract. So x cubed minus x cubed, so those cancel. 10x squared minus 4x squared is 6x squared. And then we bring down the next term. Don't forget to bring down the sign. In this case, it's plus or positive. OK, back to what we just did. So back to the x. x times what? gives us 6x squared. Well, positive 6x. x times 6x is 6x squared. Okay, then we do the second one. 4 times 6x is positive 24x. Then we subtract. So those will cancel, and 32 minus 24 is 8x, 32x minus 24x. This is the operation, subtraction. Then we bring down the 32, it's positive, so bring down the plus. Okay, again, back to the x. x times what is 8x? 8. So 8 times x is 8x. Eight, 8 times 4 is 32. And then we subtract. 8 minus 8 cancels. 32 minus 32 cancels. So we have a remainder of 0. So when we have a remainder of 0, we have just shown that x plus 4, this factor, goes into this polynomial evenly this many times. So if I wanted to, if I took x plus 4 times this, I would end up with this polynomial. Now it says to factor completely. So that means we're going to have to take what's up here and factor it. Well, we know how to factor this. One times eight, and the six on the bottom, four and two. A value is one. Now I'm going quickly because this is super review. We should know how to do this with our eyes closed by now. So our first factor that we know is x plus 4. Then the next factor, because we're factoring this out, is x plus 4 again. 
And then our third factor is x plus 2. Now remember, I said the degree of this polynomial is 3. So notice there's 1, 2, 3 factors. Now we're in factor form. Remember in quadratics, factored form looks like this, except there was just 2. Okay, This would be standard form for a cubic. This would be factored form for a cubic. Okay. All right, let's look at number two. Remember, we have to order these in descending order. So what you notice is we have x to the fifth, but there's no x to the fourth. So what we're going to place in here is a zero x to the fourth. We're going to make it appear because what made the x to the fourth go away? Well, times zero, of course. So we're going to have to fill in these blanks with zero. Minus 3x to the third plus 8x squared. Notice what's missing, the x to the first. So what do we put in? Yes, 0x to the first minus 24. So we should see all of our exponents starting with the degree of the polynomial, which is 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then our constant on the end. Okay, here's our factor, x squared minus 3. We want to see if that goes into this evenly. So let's start off. x squared times what is x to the fifth? we remember our rules of exponents, we should know it's x cubed because 2 plus 3 is 5. Negative 3 times x cubed okay, is negative 3 x cubed. Now, we're not going to put it under here. okay? We're going to put it under here, under the like term, under the like term. We're going to subtract. So this is nothing because 1 minus 1 is 0. And this is nothing, so we really didn't need it this time. And then negative 3 minus 3 is also 0. So look, everything canceled. So we're going to bring down the 8x. Okay? And... We're going to bring down, since this is 0, let's just see what we get here. I'm sorry, it's 8x squared. So x squared times what is 8x squared? Well, eight, um, x squared times 8, of course. x squared times 8? 8x squared. And then negative 3 times 8? Negative 24. So we don't need that. Let's bring down that minus 24 and let's subtract. So this cancels. Negative 24 minus negative 24, that cancels. So we just found out that x squared minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial because our remainder is 0. So in this case, we didn't need these. But sometimes we do, okay? Sometimes we do. Now, what do we have left over? We have x cubed plus 8. How do we factor that? Well, this is the sum of two cubes. So if you remember the rule that states a cubed plus b cubed, if we have a problem, like that, it factors to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So we have x cubed, and then what number cubed is 8? 2. Good job. 2 times 2 times 2. 
So a, a is x, b is 2. So fill it in. So x plus 2 equals filling in the x for a minus, and this would be x times 2, but we don't write it like that. We write it like this, 2 times x plus, and then 2 goes in for b, okay? So 2 squared is 4. So what I just did here is I factored the sum of two cubes. So now what do we have? So we have x squared minus 3 as one factor, x plus 2 as another factor, and then we have this one. Now, since this is tri trinomial, it's quadratic, we could try the x on this one, but it's not, it's prime, so we can't factor it. So this is as far as we can go. Can't factor it any farther than that. Okay, turn the page. Okay, let's set this up and get started on it right away. Notice I put in my zero. Four, three, two, one, constants. You know what? I think I'll let you do this one. And we'll see if you get the right answer. Don't forget that once you, if it gets a remainder of zero, then this is a factor of this polynomial. Then you need to try to factor what you have up here. See you guys in class tomorrow.